good afternoon. As you can see, Geraldine here is looking for a fight, don't you just? She is such a lovely pig. Yeah, that's, that's a hot wire. <laughs> Trying to pick a fight with the horses. Are you interested, Charles? I'll tell you what, I think Honey would be. She's probably the wrong one, Jez. You need to chill out, baby. Look forward to you getting too old for this stuff to bloody try and be crazy. Anyway, I thought you should uh, see that. Because she's a little bit cake, a little bit cray cray. Hello, boys. It's a glorious day today, only about 23 degrees. But, um, yeah, look at her. She wants to take on the world. It's all right, Jesse. Go and have a nap. Flies are driving these guys crazy. Hello, Jez. So, Jez just had the fright of her life. She's just running along the fence line there, doing her huff and puff to Bruno and Brunhilde. And Bruno just reached over the fence and went for a little nip and scared the crap out of her. And she's calmed down a bit since, but. I suppose it goes to, to say a little bit about how Jez found her way to us. Um, she was um, rescued from the pound, so she was she was handed into the pound. Could no longer look after her. And I think that could be the reason why, because she is very hormonal. And even though it lasts for two, three days, and then she's back to being a sweetheart, but it's still quite... Um, quite an ordeal. She's she's very moody and yeah, she's not happy with anybody. So her body is just going crazy in those three days. Hormones are going crazy and yeah she turns into a bit of a monster. Now we thought it was a little bit funny to start with. We're like oh Jazzy and, and now we just come to terms with we, we give her her space. Unfortunately Harley doesn't agree with that. He's He's like that annoying brother. He just you know, walk past and bump her and she would go, What did you do, Peppa? Oh my god, mom, dad. But um, in a very high high pitched pig squeal. But yeah, poor Jez. She really she's had a rough trot, but she's she's in good hands now and we love her to bits, but we just have to manage um, as best we can. Love you, Jez. No more nipping her, please, Bruno. No more nipping. Is that an option? No more nipping, handsome. Yes, you are. So from where I am, I'm at the bottom left hand corner of the property, which is currently the goat's paddock, as you can see the house, pretty cool. Pretty hard with, with the floods as well. Hung around for quite a while as you can see all this dead crap. <sighs> but the goats have just found the, the rose along the fence line and some of the gum trees so they're pretty happy. Or eucalypts. Yeah. Howdy. So I'm out in the 
goat paddock at the moment. Uh, starting to dig holes for the sheep shelter, which will also act as like a little holding yard and uh, eventually where we could um, ideally shear the sheep ourselves. So this is it. There's a hole. You can see the little clump over there. And then over just near where Tilly is, there's another clump. So it will be, it'll be pretty decent. Maybe I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew, but. Um, so it's about 7.2 meters um, that away and 9.6 meters this way. So the idea is pretty much in half, so about 4.8 metres in. Uh, I'll have panels coming out there with a gate so that we can move sheep into this area and then there'll be another gate out here where we can move sheep out. So yeah, the idea is to bring them in um, if any of the sheep are unwell or they have um, some feet that need to be trimmed, that sort of stuff, we'll bring them into that area and that will, uh, that's, well that's the idea, bloody hope it works, but yeah, I've got a bit of work to do and it's going to cost a bit of money, so that's why I'm going back to work. All right. Here we are, we are doing the weekly wrap up. As John absolutely insists upon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to do a daily one because yeah, a little bit obsessed with um, yeah, telling <laughs> telling people what's going on on our farm. But yeah, weekly I'm alright with that. So Friday, weekly roundup. Mm. Uh, the Friday what is today? The seventeenth? Yes. No? 16. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no idea. I should know. I actually... Obviously, I'm not working at the moment. I, so. And I am, and I still have to think uh, about that for a second. But, yeah. Lovely day today. Yeah, beautiful weather, despite how, you know, crazy, like, windy it looks like uh, right now. That's not... Yeah. So, hopefully, you can hear us, okay? But, anyway, uh, wrapping up the week. What does it look like? Wrapping up the week. Oh, wow. What has happened this week? The goats are out. They are out of my, I won't say hair, because I don't have any. They're out of... <laughs> this is not Oh yeah, out of <laughs> I love them very, very much, but holy moly, they are a handful. And the, the sheep are so happy. Like the sheep, yeah. it's almost like, so John, you know, if anybody knows, I'm sure everyone does from the Wizard of Oz, where the Glenda the Good Witch comes out and says, come out, come out. <laughs> That's what he did with the sheep after the goats went out. And they literally all came out and went, thank you so much. Yeah. We no longer have to live in fear and look behind us every single second of every second of every day. <laughs> so yeah. <true. laughs> yeah. That was it. Mm. So, oh, so, yeah, so but we, we have a problem with our feed room. Mm. Um, well, it's only because I left the door open. Yeah, and you've, you've shown them how to get in there previously. Like, oh, come and eat this. Yeah, come anyway. And eat this. Anyway, so, yeah, sorry. No, no blame putting any blame on anyone but they hound us at the door lucky we've got a window to hand out buckets and we have a runner position which is me i get the bucket and i run mm. and they follow me <laughs> and then i lock them in in their feed area and that is it mm -hmm. yep so. so it's great so we've got a different routine now when you feed the the sheep and we lock them up 
Then we can make everyone else's feed with the door open. It's amazing. And then we feed yes. and then we feed the pigs and then we feed the goats in their new paddock. And then we feed the three horses in their other paddock. Like everyone's got their own paddocks, it's great. It and then we cool. feed the other other horses and the cows and the other sheep. Yes. Yeah, which we're gonna bring down soon so that all the sheep and goats are together. Yep. It's just we did actually try it the other day with the quad uh, and me, like just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. Not at all. Did not work. It they was were... looking good for. The gate was okay. wide open. They just yeah. weren't interested. Well, that's when the other horses ran out. They're like, we're, we're yeah, going that's for right. It. That's when the other yeah. So Harley and Jojo and Stella, they're yeah. gone. They're, they're they love it. Yeah, they do. They're eating all the lucerne. They're so yeah. lucky. It's got lovely shade along the tree line. Mm. Too. What did I say was my learning this week? Oh, there's been nowhere near enough hours in the week. That's right. So back when I lived in the suburbs and I had a full-time job, which I still have, I used to think I was really busy. And now I laugh and I laugh and I laugh when I think about how busy I thought I was. Because I had no idea what busy actually looked like. This is a whole new concept of the word busy. This weekend, I can't even imagine how we're going to get through what we need to get through. I mean, it ha you know, it's also because we have family coming to see us on Sunday, but yeah. we've got cows coming on Sunday at the same time as our family is coming. They were supposed to be coming tomorrow, but that got changed to Sunday. They've been coming for a year, so we kind of yeah. didn't want to put that off. Yeah, that's right. You don't yeah. want to mess around. The transport's booked, so just got to deal with it. Yeah, we've got to go to a market in the morning. Very important. Yes. It's important to have some nice time to go do nice things. That is the last Rushworth market for the year. Yes. And then we're visiting our friend Marie, who makes oh, yeah. vegan sweets, treats, cakes, and what have you. So we're picking yep. up some delicious... What's the business name? A Little Loco. Just a little tag here. A Little a Loco, little yeah, yeah, in Shep. So, yeah, we're getting some delicious stuff from her for our Christmas catch-up with family on Sunday. And then we have to come back. And this is the part that really upsets me, right? We have to clean the house. Uh, we would only do that when people come over. Like yeah. we'll vacuum occasionally because I can't yeah. live like that. We're not that. feral. No, no, no. The house is actually <laughs> the house is tidy. It just gets like yeah. you know it's it just like next level when you're dusting business. and just vacuuming and mopping. So we don't do those things a whole lot. Maybe once a week because I can't. Like I said, like if I'm working inside, I can't be like that. But yeah, so we have to do a full blown clean of the house including the bathroom and oh, even like the the house yard kind of thing there's stuff that we just we, that's okay that's fine you know there's a lot of hay around and that sort of stuff but yeah when people come we're gonna tidy it up yeah and the guest room we're setting up a new guest room because we stole the guest room we had <laughs> we had our master bedroom which i just didn't like sorry totally... susan if you're watching this <laughs> I just didn't totally feel it. Like it just had this weird kind of flat feeling. Which to is it. Debbie's mum. Yeah, way. that's right. It's just not a random Susan. <laughs> <But, laughs> so, um, anyway, the guest room we had set up. I just, every time I walk past, I'm like, damn, I love that room. That's the best room in the house. So we stole it. Now we sleep in there. So we're setting up our old master bedroom as the guest yeah, room. Yeah, like we've got to really bling it out to. You make everyone to feel make excited up. and not feel yeah. like that. We just stole their room. So, especially my mum. <laughs> yeah. So we've got to do that tomorrow. We bought, we did, we bought cool furniture to go in there. And then, um, yes. and then what? Yeah. Yeah, I've got my family coming on Sunday for a, a Simsy family catch up. That'd mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah. Get to show them around the sanctuary. That, yeah, yeah, lots changed. So really yeah. Excited about so anyway, have you got any learnings? Oh, Mike? learnings. <laughs> Always. Um, maybe. Plan construction in an area before you move animals into it, because yeah, it's almost impossible now to to bring the concrete into. But you the... have to. It's, well, yeah, it's, that's because I said it's almost yeah. impossible. <laughs> it's not impossible. Almost. Right, you got it's me help, be tough. So. Okay, cool. It's another Don't act string, like that's a... string to your bow. Concreting. No, no, I said I can help. I like I'll distract the goats. Oh. While you're <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. This is our longest wrap up. My, yeah. One of my reflections, I'm going to call it a reflection, not a learning, is that um, that sheep, you just lose time. I think I might have mentioned this before, but you can't just go outside and be like, I'll just go and grab something. No, you have to stop and kiss and hug and pat like 13 sheep. You can't just go back in the house and be like, you know, John's like, I don't know where you, where were you? I thought you were coming inside. I'm like, yeah, but the sheep Tilly. happened. <laughs> 
Is it chilly? Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor chilly. The goats sound like literally like babies crying. Because <laughs> they want to come back in the house yard. We had to actually walk them down to the fence line today to actually show them some show them good the stuff. Trees. Yeah, they've got and so the much cool stuff in that paddock. Anyway, I think we should wrap yes. up. This is our longest wrap up yet. I'll just touch on your losing time with the lambs. Mm -hmm. Apart from maybe three or four of them, five of them, we've bottle raised the rest. Yeah. And you, you have such a bond with these wonderful little buggers <clears throat> and it's really hard to walk past them. You're like, oh, hello. Yes, I love you too. It's oh, a, yes, I love you too. Hello. the others as well. Like even the other ones have become so sweet and endearing. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. Like they're all sort of adopted family, but there's, there's this really special bond with the ones you, you bottle feed and, and you hand raise. It's true. It's like children. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And John, right. okay. Oh, no, go. I was just going to say, John? John just reminded me that, like, because he has to go to work in the new year. Oh. When it, okay, on, anyway, when, we, when it comes time to like, the adopting orphan lambs again in winter, I'm going to have to feed them all myself. At least two feeds a day. At least yeah. before he gets home. Or from we get volunteers in to do that for us. <laughs> then it's easy to adopt them out because that's part of our constitution. Because we're not as, as attached, so I yeah. just want to look at them, I won't hug them. Anyway, yeah. we should go. Hi, Lamb. Yep, there you go, bye. No, never. We're in trouble. Okay, we're going to get All right, no, okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. My fault, sorry. Okay. All right, happy Friday, have a great weekend. Almost Christmas. Yes, Okay. Wow. okay. And we're going to do a special Christmas edition next week. Oh, I'm going to go for like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, bye. Yep.